Hello everyone and welcome back to EAFC 24. Today we're going to be doing the Foundations 2 SBCs. Now this one leads straight on from Foundations 1 and we'll use some of the things we've already learned and add a few extra bits in there to continue your development, uh, understanding how these SBCs work and chemistry in general as well. So we open them up, we have four available inside, all about that overall. A quality trade, a true national and bring it all together now. So first of all, we'll look at um, all about that overall. So for this one, we just need two players that are common. Uh, again, we've looked at common last time around, but we'll uh, do I'll have a little look again now. So all the cards on this screen, as you can see, are, oh, well, not all of them, actually. Majority are all rare cards. You can tell by the, the better finish and look to them, as well as the shape of them. However, this card here in the bottom right is a common card. It is basic more looking. It's a more basic shape. Uh, and that is the difference between the two. If you put a rare card in there, the game will not accept it. So, we're going to head our way. Generally, the uh, the common players are the ones that are lower rated. So, let's just pick one here. We'll go Undombele. So, we needed two common players, both under 80 rated. And that's it. Now, remember once again, as we said last time around, any player you put into these SBCs will be lost. This is a trade. You trade these cards to complete the SBC and take the rewards. So do not put your best players or players you want to use in here. Just put the worst players or the players you don't need uh, the lowest possible you can do to complete the mission. So there we go. Let us uh, put that bad boy in. And there we go. We get ourselves a jumbo bronze pack. Right. Next one then, a quality trade. Now this one you need to uh, basically trade two players one of which can be rare but they don't have to be rare so why why use your rare players when you can just use basic ones so again they don't have to be in the correct positions you just literally need two players in this team and that's enough to do it really it's uh, probably the easiest one out of the lot so far so now they get a little bit more techie number three a true national now for this one you need three players all from the same nation. So as you can see, I have picked England because I had the players available. They don't have to be in the correct position and they don't have to play for the same club or anything like that. They literally just have to have the same flag in the bottom left. You have to have two common players. So basically you can only have one rare player. But again, if you don't need to use a rare player, don't because it's a waste. They're much better used elsewhere. Use the most basic cheap ones you've got. They don't have to be gold either. They can be silver. They can be bronze. I've just picked gold because I feel like gold common cards are the easiest ones to get. And you pick up so many. So they're the ones I'm easier and happier to get rid of. Um, so yeah, simple as that. All you need to do is just get rid of three players from the same nation. Doesn't have to be England. Can be Germany, Spain, Scotland, Iran, Uzbekistan, wherever you want. Just three from the same nation. Boom. Done. And then next up... And finally, in Foundations 2, this one sort of steps on from the last one. So you need to use four players from the same nation. Again, they don't have to be in the correct position. And they don't have to be any specific type. So you're allowed two rare players if you want them. Again, unless you have to, don't bother because you don't want to waste them. Uh, team overall rating, max of 90 overall. You're never going to get there anyway because you can only put four players in. So our rating at the moment is 39. So... It really doesn't matter. Uh, players from the same country slash region exactly four, which is what we've got. We've got four German players and four players in the squad. Simple as that. So, yeah, again, doesn't have to be German. Doesn't have to be in the correct positions. Doesn't have to be gold, bronze, or silver. Literally just four players from the same nation that you are happy to get rid of. Don't put anyone in there you want. Players you're happy to get rid of. And, again, we complete that for a premium silver card. And then we also complete Foundations 2. A lot simpler now. We're getting uh, easier and easier missions now. And you're starting to learn more and more about them and how they work. Uh, as we move into the other Foundations, you'll see uh, a few more aspects coming into it. But we'll cross over bridges when we come to them. Let's uh, check our uh, rewards for that then. So we've got ourselves a premium bronze pack. Uh, the, the system's not working at the moment, so there's no pack animations at the moment. So 
Uh, again, as I said previous time around, keep all these players because they do come in useful for future SPCs. I mean, unless they're duplicates, keep everyone. You're not going to gain any coins. So there's no point in getting rid of them. Again, we've got four players. Um, again, maxing, uh, matching some nations, and that is useful as well for the future. We've got loads of contracts as well, which we'll use in the future, I would imagine, as well. Again, a lovely big chunk of players. We've got some contracts as well, a badge, all that sort of good stuff. We get the premium silver pack as well. Which again will come in useful. We'll need some silver cards soon for other bits and bobs, so it's good to have them. And then finally, the main reward from Foundations 2 is a lone player uh, rated 81 to 85, as well as some other items as well. So our lone player is going to be Eden Jekko. It's not terrible. Uh, do I have this already? I do. Okay. And there we go. Simple as that. Simple as that. So there we go. Foundations 2 is done and dusted. Pretty simple. Um, of course, it brought in the aspect of having to match nations. And that's what we're going to do. As we further we go on through the SBCs and the foundation sections, uh, the more we're going to start being taught about different things and different ways to do your teams. And it's going to be about matching up clubs, nations, leagues, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but we'll continue our little run through next time out on Foundations number three. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Of course, if it's been useful, hit the like and subscribe. We have a good stuff, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.